I'll watch it. Dude, check it. Oh, hey, Riggs, uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Whoa, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. Don't mess with that guy. He scares me. Hey, Eddie, man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know. When are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong. You're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Is all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? Fix anything except that metal is dead. So fine, old mind, swing you like a porcupine. Say what? You ever feel like you were born in the wrong time? Like you should have been born earlier? When the music was real? Like the 70s? Earlier. Like the early 70s. Uh oh. I told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother! Fucking piece of shit! It's you again, Please let him fall. Damn it! A good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. A good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job right, you don't even know he's there. Once in a while he might step on stage just to fix a problem, to set something right. But then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone.
Huh? Ooh. Huh? The day has finally come for us to serve our master. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not your master. No, you are not. Yeah, I know. I totally know. We've known each other since kindergarten. And if anything. Hey, get away from that guitar! Just tune that thing. Nice try, lady. Or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kinda sexy, though, in a weird way. I think I heard once that killing nuns is bad luck. I'd better get out of here. 
Okay, all right. Well, here goes. Um, oh man, gotta get this thing moving. Let's see here. Near evil, messed up demon powers of darkness, uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things and S&M type wear. You know you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, sorry about killing her, uh, but you're evil though, right? By your good graces. Uh-oh. Ah, I meant evil! <laughs> evil graces! <laughs> ah, son of a Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and... Hang on. And it was just sitting there, so... You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah! Wait, before who arrives? Emperor Deviculus. Who? Emperor Deviculus, where are you from? It's kind of hard to say. Um, I kind of live on the road. Be assured, you don't want to be here when he arrives. What's the big deal? You're slaughtering his personal guard for one thing. Oh, aha. Ed, so what did you say to me? Come on, we have to run. to the door before the Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. What is this place? The Temple of Ormagodon. It's a place of ancient power, but no one knows its true purpose. Created 